My name is Andrea McDermott. I am the Tooting Cluster Coordinator for Children's Services in Wandsworth Council. That means that I work with community voluntary groups, schools, police, health, and we look at ways that we can strengthen community to deal with community needs. I'm also a trustee for a domestic violence charity in Norbury called Cassandra Centre. I am also chair of Children's Services EDI Forum and I am a governor at Ravenstone Primary School in Ballam. I'm from, I was born in Batsy, so I am, you know, original Wandsworth resident, but my parents hail from Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamrock. As I said previously, I am the chair of the EDI Forum within Children's Services and we want to be the employer of choice. We want to be an anti-racist employer and we want you to be able to bring your authentic self to work. We know we've got work to do and we are committed to this. We're also aware of the disproportionality in the youth justice system, in the care system, and we are working to readdress and reduce this also. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's vibrant, it's creative, it's me, it's, it's wonderful. I love living in Wandsworth. The thing I like the most is that I can go to Tutin Market, I can go buy my yam and planting while I listen to CJ play music. I see myself in Wandsworth. Wandsworth is a diverse place to live. It's a place that I feel that cultures are celebrated and I love being around that diversity. I love thriving, I love walking, I love being a part of that and I see myself in that also. It's a chance for us to acknowledge and celebrate our contribution to history and to life. It's not just about slavery. We are kings and queens. We built the pyramids. I think it's a chance for us to acknowledge and pay respect to our, to our ancestors as well. Okay, there's something extremely empowering about embracing yourself and your culture. Um, I would say, be kind to yourself. Be kind to the journey that you're on as you learn more about yourself. And um, I would say, be curious as well. So don't be afraid to ask others about culture and heritage and history as well. But also acknowledge that you are on a journey and just be adventurous and be curious about that. Um, be patient because it's not going to happen overnight as you learn more about yourself. And sadly, some of us, through no fault of our own, have not been able to, I suppose, delve and, and embrace the history or they've been cut off from the history. I would also say love yourself and love yourself every day and love yourself unconditionally because that is the most important part about being true to yourself and being true to your heritage.